Hello, busy mom. And it is time for that live video. You are in the kitchen with Deb, and I am your personal kitchen consultant. And today we are going to talk about not one, but two or three, but three types of containers that can benefit both your pantry and your kitchen cabinet. Now, I know you want things to look neat and organized, whether you have the walk-in pantry or whether you have the kitchen cabinet. You want it to be neat, organized, so you know where everything is. Now, if that's you, you're in the right spot. Now, do you want an aesthetically pleasing pantry or kitchen cabinet? Or do you want it all kind of just shoved in there and messed up? Do you need to rearrange things to make it look better or that you could find something better when you're cooking? Whether it's those, a box of stuffing or a box of rice. Do you need to get it all together? Or if you're baking, you want to hurry up and grab a box mix, bake, boxed up cake mix to bake for the kids? If you do, you are in the right place. Now. I'm in talking about these containers. I do not have a walk-in pantry. I do not have one. I have very little space in kitchen cabinets. So I am familiar with how to make it work in small places. How to make your pantry work. I call it your pantry even though it's your kitchen cabinet. It's my mini, I call it my mini pantry. And that's in my kitchen. Okay, so the first type of container there is, is your sealed container. It's usually plastic, it's tall, and it has like the white lid on it and it's got the big nice seal around it. Now I think spaghetti looks real nice in that tall rectangular container. It really looks nice. And then you got your little bit fatter containers and a little bit shorter. Those are great for like your rotini noodles, your elbow noodles. Or your different rices, if you've got brown rice, white rice. And those are nicely sealed. The benefit of the sealed container is that whatever you take out of the box and put into a sealed container will last, the freshness will last longer because it's got that seal. Boxes are not sealed. Your boxes are possibly, well, they're closed, but they're not fully sealed, where once you put that pasta in, or your spaghetti noodles in that tall container, it's sealed. And if you're the type of person that only uses a little bit of pasta at a time, with a little bit of spaghetti, you don't want to make the whole big box. You just grab a handful, seal it back up, and you know it's fresh. Where sometimes you're taping up that spaghetti box with a, with a piece of tape, to so it doesn't open because you'll want to use it some other time. That way, when you're using those seals containers, it really does keep its freshness. Now the second type of container I'm going to talk to you about is, it's also sealed, but it is your see-through acrylic containers. These are great for kids. They're tall, they're narrow, they're a little bit wider, about six to eight inches. They're sealed on top. And they, the cereal ones, some of them have a pour spout for pouring out your cereal. Those are great for cereals because A, they do stay fresher longer. B, your kids will see it. They can see the cereal. And 
they can see their favorite, favorite ser cereal, like the one with the little marshmallow hearts and, st and stars on it. Like, oh yeah, that's my cereal, and they go and grab it. That's the benefit of see-through containers. And besides cereal in the see-through containers, you could put cookies, you can put candy, whatever you want to see that's aesthetically pleasing to you. Now, if you have a kitchen cabinet, I'm not saying fill your kitchen cabinet with sealed containers, unless the sealed containers will really help you to, okay, you know, this, this roll is the brown rice, the white rice, the bas basmati rice, and you got them all going down, and then the next one you've got, uh, maybe it's your pasta, your spaghetti, your rotini, your elbow noodles, Unless it's going to benefit that small space, you can get some real narrow containers and have everything stay nice and fresh and put it on that shelf in your kitchen cabinet. Go the long way. Figure out how many containers you need. And sometimes it takes up less space than those boxes. And the last container I'm going to talk to you about is your fabric fabric baskets. I'm talking fabric here. Where you can hide some of those boxes in that basket. Because some of those boxes, you know, like, eh, I don't like looking at that. Where only you're going to see the top sticking out of the box. Out of the basket, rather. And you'll know exactly what you've got because you can see just the top. You pull that little basket, like, oh yeah, that's what I need. And you grab it. Uh, your fabric baskets are also great for seasoning mixes, gravy mixes, pet treats that are in those packages. Cause they line up real nice, and they won't they won't fall down. And you could see the top of the wrapper, and you just gotta kind of you just kind of go choo -choo 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 and look through it, and you're like, oh yeah, that's what I want. Now the other type of basket I'm gonna talk to you about is the plastic basket. The, the thicker, the heavier basket, whether it's for your pantry or your cabinet or wherever you can store. This is for their heavy items like your onions, your potatoes, things that are heavy. And onions are especially great in that plastic basket because Onions come in that mesh wrapper, and every time you turn around, it seems like your onions got you've got that little peels, those little peels at the bottom of your container. So that way, when you're done with your onions, you can you can quickly dump it over in the garbage can, the container, and get out those little peels, and you're ready to put your new set of onions in. It's easy to clean. It's just dump and run. And potatoes do the same thing. They are heavy, and you could take that container and just pick it up and dump it out, wipe it out, and you're done putting put the new potatoes in. That's the nice part. And that really works well. So, are you struggling with that kitchen cabinet trying to get it to look right? Because if you are, we discussed how to put, we discussed the, the, uh, the uh, see-through containers where the kids can see what they need, the cereals that you can put in your, pan in your pantry or your kitchen cabinet, and the different rices and how you can stack them up and line them across the shelf. What you and we've got this in the sealed containers it will definitely keep items fresh longer. I would say if you don't use a lot of pasta all the time, 
but yet you only use a little at a time and you've got it in that spare box, I would take it out of that box and put it in a container because it will keep it fresher longer and it will make your food. It's gonna, it's gonna, the noodles are gonna stay nicer so you get that flavor you want when you're cooking them, when you're adding your sauces to it. And don't forget the baskets, the heavier ones for the potatoes and the onions, and the lighter ones for your box goods, stuff and mixes, easy mixes, gravy mixes, and that. Now, I've got my latest blog post up on the blog. I will put put a link to that link to that and you let me know if you want to check out my latest blog post. I, I may or may not put the link in on my got a lot of things to do today. And my VIP membership is finally open. Whoop, 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 whoop. So so busy mom. Let's get inspired. Let's get creative. Let's work on our pantries or kitchen cabinets because we want to cook, clean, and get out of that kitchen. And I will see you ladies next week when you're in the kitchen with Deb, your personal kitchen consultant. And drop a comment below and let me know what your struggles are with your kitchen cabinets or your pantry. And don't forget, check out my latest blog post. Bye!